I want to take a look now at how we go about making a new Lightroom catalog. Now, by default, Lightroom stores your catalog in your pictures folder on your internal hard drive. And many times people want to actually have their catalog stored on an external. So you can move your existing catalog over, or you can start fresh and make a new catalog on your external hard drive right from the get-go. Let's take a look at how we can do this. First of all, I want to show us the catalog that Lightroom makes by default. So if I go into my Macintosh HD here, and this is the same on a Windows machine, and I go to the Pictures folder, we can see in there there's a folder called Lightroom. I didn't make this folder. Lightroom actually created this folder when I first started the program. And we can see inside of the Lightroom folder, there's three different files. One of them simply says Lightroom catalog.lrcat. That's the catalog file itself. If I double click on that, that will take that catalog and launch it into Lightroom. This becomes important later on because if we start Lightroom from the shortcut on the dock or on your desktop, you never know which catalog Lightroom is going to open. One user can potentially have 10, 12, 15 different catalogs. And when we click that button on the dock, it's up to the program or the computer to choose which one. So when I start Lightroom, I like to actually double click the catalog itself. And we can see when I start up this catalog, it's a new catalog that Lightroom made for me when I first started the program. I haven't started using it. When you double click your catalog in your pictures folder, you very well might see lots and lots of images because that might be the catalog you've been using for years. So let's look at how we would go about starting a new one. What I'm going to do is once I'm in Lightroom, I'm going to go up to the file menu and then I'm going to go to new catalog. And what it's going to ask me is a couple questions. First of all, where would I like to put this new catalog? And second, what would I like to call it? Now, by default, Lightroom or Adobe likes to call your catalog Lightroom Catalog, which is fine if you're only using one catalog. But as you start to get additional ones, they all end up being named the same thing. And that's kind of confusing. So I like to suggest to students that they name their catalog something unique. In this case, I'm going to call it Forest's Lightroom Catalog. I'm going to type that in the little box here where we can name it. The second thing is I want to set where I want it to go. Well, I have an external hard drive plugged in my computer right now. So I'm going to say, tell the catalog to go on to the main photo drive, which is what I've named my external hard drive. And I'm not going to make any additional folders or anything like that. I'm just going to send it right to the drive itself. And I'm going to hit the Create button. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to close the existing catalog, the catalog that I'm in right now. It's going to reopen. And now we're in the catalog that's on the external hard drive. OK, so I've essentially made a second catalog. Now, one thing we need to be very careful about is when you're starting Lightroom, like I said a couple minutes ago, we got to be sure we tell Lightroom which catalog we want to use. So let me show you how to do that again here. I'm going to quit out of Lightroom, and I'm going to show you what it did. Before, I had one catalog in my pictures folder. We can see that it's right here. That was the default catalog. I now, if I go to my main photo drive, can see that there's another catalog folder called My Name Lightroom Catalog. And inside of that is another catalog. This is the one we just created that Lightroom just made. And if I double click on that, I'm telling Lightroom to launch that catalog into the program. You got to be very specific. I know it's a few extra clicks to go in and say I want this one or that one, but it can be really helpful because then you will make sure you're not using, importing images into, and, and just working with the wrong catalog. So that's how we make a new catalog. It's as simple as just going up to File, New Catalog, setting what you'd like to call the catalog, and where you would like it to be saved. A couple things on catalogs briefly. For one, be sure you're opening the catalog you're hoping to open. If you import images into one catalog, you won't see those images in the other catalog. Images are catalog specific. So you could have one set of pictures in one catalog and another set in another. That's totally a doable thing. Also, preferences are catalog specific. So if you're going into your Lightroom preferences and you're working around a little bit, if you set up one catalog's preferences, you'll also have to go into the other one and set it up as well. So working with multiple catalogs definitely has some downsides, but it's also got some huge bonuses in that when you're working in one catalog, you only see the images associated with that catalog. You won't see any of the images in any of your other catalog files.